Hello, this is Brett from Survival Comps, and this is an addendum to Survival Antennas 2, the coaxial fed HF dipole. And this is in response to one of my subscribers, Julian, Oscar Hotel 8, Sierra Tango November, who also has a really awesome radio related content channel, brought up that he made one of those antennas using my original design, using the body of the feed line as an anchor point for the elements and he experienced that the antenna stretched and caused the antenna to detune in the example he made for the 17 meter band. So another idea to support that without using the body of the coaxial cable that doesn't require any additional materials is if you saw survival antennas too, I had taken this piece of deadfall and I had notched it with the saw of my Leatherman tool to utilize as a insulator. Now in this example here, I've expanded the notch and I've taken my antenna elements again and I've made the loops a little bit longer, or larger rather, and in that case I can place these elements on this right here and utilize this as the center insulator. And then we're going to take our coaxial cable and we're going to go ahead and loop it over top of this and anchor itself on there. Now the way we're going to do this is, is we're going to take our coax feeder and loop it around our insulator as such and then we're going to use our two foot of cordage and we're going to go ahead and lash this together around this insulator and then we can tie in our feeders to either end of this. Now to start our lash we need to have an anchor point on our coaxial cable so we'll start again with a simple clove hitch. Well, now that we've got our bank line tied around our coax feeder and anchored, we'll take and make a lash. Take your feed line, start with a simple clove hitch. Wrap it around your work, move your anchor point down, put your work through, and now we're going to bind these two sections of cable together. So we're going to take four turns around our cable like this. Now running between our work and the object we're anchoring. Now we're going to start running across our lash and this is called a frap. And typically you want to make these as tight as possible. And we're going to do three of those. Now that we've completed that, we're going to go ahead and finish it the second clove hitch below our lash. Like that. And we're going to pull the whole assembly together as tight as we can. Finish it with a square knot. And there you have it. And now we've got our feed line anchored to the insulator. So using the same construction details from Survival Antennas 2 and the same materials list, we've built ourselves another mousetrap by re-engineering the feed point using a piece of deadfall as a center insulator and support. And perhaps if you experience the antenna stretching and detuning with the feed point design from Survival Antennas 2, that this may address those issues for you. 
And here is our antenna between a couple of oak trees in the yard again. And you can see where our antenna is resonant at, and it is resonant at a little higher frequency than the other example because we did have to shorten the antenna somewhat in order to reconfigure it. I hope this helps. This is Brett from Survival Comps. Till next time.